little break. I declare myself sorry. I mean, a person can't hide what they really think. I agree. I mean, sure, they can run from it. The subconscious always makes the last move, and eventually, it overrules and omits all logical thought. And that's the beauty of the human mind. I mean, we all act normal in our everyday lives, but when given the chance, our true abnormal personality is perceptible. And if these inner feelings never surface, they're just bottled up. We never realize our subconscious thoughts and ideas are taking control. And when those thoughts become apparent, the mind has been lost. Which makes every logical thought thereafter irrational and utterly wrong. And the brain can't even comprehend logic, let alone reality. Excuse me. If people were to notice these trends, this way of thinking, what would happen? Your move. Todd, I have a problem. All right, what is it? I, I don't really know. It's all right, Alex, you can tell me. No, it's not like that. It's just, I have, I have a problem. It's just, I don't really know what it is. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Let me try to explain this. It's like my eyes have been opened, like, to, to a new way of thinking, of seeing, of, of comprehending. And this is a problem how? Well, it just feels like I've done something horrible to my head. Not, not physically, but mentally. What are you talking about? You haven't done anything wrong? There's no problem. You're not making any sense. You sound crazy. Todd, I'm making perfect sense. I have a problem. I don't know what it is, but whatever the problem is, that's irrelevant. I mean, I understand myself well enough to realize that I am not well. Alex, what's wrong? I got your message and I came as soon as I could. Are you okay? Can I be completely honest with you, Gretchen? Honest about what? This is gonna sound really crazy, but I just, I don't know who else is gonna believe me. Babe, I won't think you're crazy. You can tell me, I'm here for you. Well, I've been having these really weird dreams lately. Dreams where I just don't see myself waking up. It's like I wake up to another dream. Doesn't sound crazy, it sounds like a dream. There's more. Okay. Every time I look in the mirror, I don't see my reflection. I see you, and I see my friend Todd, and some guys that I met at a pool hall once. I mean, I just don't know what's wrong with me. Nothing. 
Nothing's wrong with you, Alex. It's all just a dream. They scare me. There's nothing to be scared about. I can't control them. I can't wake up when I want to. It's... I don't know how to fix this new way of thinking. Your dreams aren't something that need to be controlled, Alex. You don't need to be fixed. It's all in your head. But it's not all just in my head anymore. But what do you mean it's not? When I look around, everything I see just clashes with reality. Nobody understands. I understand. Visions and dreams, exploring your mind, believing disbelief. What do you want from me? Consider me one of your white blood cells. And I'm fighting a nasty infection. <laughs> that infection is you. Where am I? Somewhere lost deep inside your head. I've decided to step things up a bit, Alex, and take you to a new level of comprehension. What level is that? Insanity. <laughs> Who are you? Think that question through and ask again. What are you? There you go. I'm the result of your subconscious. You see, for the longest time, you've let rationality and reality go. You question pure logic. You question yourself. But I'm here to convince you that everything real becomes real when you believe it's real. You're not really here. You're not real. Oh no, I'm really here. I'm as real as you want me to be. But you see, you're the one that has to decide what they believe. So my question is, am I real? Come on! Do I look real? Answer me, Alex! Does that feel real? What's wrong, man? <laughs> Reality clashing with logic? You know I'm not real. But because I'm standing in front of you, 
You question what you already know? Oh, the mind is a beautiful thing, Alex. That was just an aberration. A distortion of your mind, of your true thoughts. The ones that you don't talk about. The ones that you keep bottled up deep inside. The ones that question why you live every day with the same motivation. But then you started to explore a new idea. So Alex, what questions do you already have the answers to that you still want to ask? Why are you doing this? To open your eyes, Alex. To cure you of the disease that you've created. So they're more like you? Yes. Yes, there are. Ha, 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 ha.